flowers and insects in a hot summer and in a cold life. A sacred ritual in a world dominated by decrepitude, growth and dementia. A clip that I would never have wanted to make because it is banal and complicated at the same time, full of color but grotesque, full of light but sad. It is a clip about self-censorship and flowers. It is a clip about how the human mind withdraws itself and refuses light. It is a clip about these pandemic days, so to speak, the official explanation. It is a clip about a sinister dictatorship hidden under medical tricks, so to speak, the conspiracy explanation. Or it is a clip about the lack of the courage to think. It is a clip about the victory of the torturer over the tortured. Nowadays, as always, the truth hurts. The one who speaks the truth is removed. The one who thinks about the truth is removed. Until no one, no more things, and no more tells the truth. Until we can build the perfect dungeon in which no human being will be human. Neither those imprisoned nor those who guard it. Neither the masters nor the slaves, neither the wise nor the insane. To be afraid to tell the truth is perhaps human at the same point. To be afraid to think is the most dreadful thing which we can imagine. It is no longer need the police to run you on the street and punish you because you are not wearing the protective mask properly. We have come to think of the mask as part of our body, as the biological part of our being, as something natural and correct. But here is what is natural and correct. If we leave for a moment the prison of the buildings and the achievements of human civilization, we find the answer to all the questions we no longer have the courage to ask ourselves. Billions of people no longer have the courage today to say what they think. They no longer have the courage to think. Because their courage stops where punishment, suffering, torture, or certainty begins. Billions of people no longer have the courage to look at a flower. Billions of people no longer have the courage to admit that they can no longer look at a flower. 
because a flower is the symbol of what they have lost. Normalcy, the beauty of normalcy, the wisdom of normalcy, the divinity of normalcy. Billions of people look at the flower but still blankly. In this emptiness, they see the safety of themselves and their family. They know they won't be afraid if they keep quiet. They know they have access to a hospital if they keep quiet. They know they have access anywhere if they keep quiet. And their family is protected. And in order to be able to keep quiet, they know they don't have to look at the flowers because the life, the color, the diversity, the light, the naturalness are the greatest dangers to their peace. For billions of people, flowers have become taboo, mm -hmm. but no one recognizes that. Because these days, the devil has ruled the earth from root to flower. But the devil's flowers are not the ones that grow in nature on the entire surface of the living earth, giving meaning to the existence and to the universe. The devil's flowers grow inside us. They grow from the seeds of fear that the authorities have possibly spread in ourselves. Today's indifference or fear will cost us dearly, because one day, from these flowers of fear grow inside us, seeds of fear will form. And nothing good will grow from those seeds from then on in our life. Then will be the end of life on this planet. More and more often my cliffs are full of self-censorship. But still, my self-censorship is not perfect. There is something alive left in my heart and also, I hope in yours heart. It is called the courage to look at the flower. The normality to look at a flower. The courage to leave the normality. The normality to leave the normality.
absolutely nothing in this world should convince us that there is normalcy behind a mask. Behind the mask is another mask, and another mask behind it, and so on to infinity. A wonderful life, I wish you, a normal life, that is.